Say good morning. <laughs> Y'all, he's trying to escape. He wants to get over there where daddy is. But it is Easter. Say happy Easter. <laughs> Daddy has to wash your face. I know, you mad. So guys, we are having our church this morning. That's what we're doing. Hey, happy fam. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Guys, we are so happy that you guys are tuning in. We hope you guys like this video. Today is actually an interesting day for us because while all of my friends and my family back home in the south are enjoying the warmer weather, we actually have snow here in Denver. So because of that, I'm actually going to be making one of the best things that I love to make is southern chicken and dumplings now guys this is not going to be your grandmother's style for chicken and dumplings because as you know your grandparents your mom your dad whoever they are making things from scratch well us millennials we don't have time for that we like to cut corners but then still give you the same great flavor so for me i have two little ones so i always like to cook like home style food however i like to find a quicker way for me to do it without sacrificing the flavor so today like i said we're going to be making chicken and dumplings and you're gonna see some of the ways in which I substitute out things to make it a lot quicker because let's be honest I don't have time to roll out biscuit dough and all of that so I hope you guys like this hey guys so this is just some thinly sliced um, chicken breast that I have seasoned um, so for this seasoning I've used um, garlic powder onion powder um, what else did I use I use Italian seasoning and this chicken seasoning that's actually called chicken seasoning so i'm actually going to put this in the refrigerator and let the seasonings really get into this chicken this morning and then later on this afternoon um that's when we're going to start with the chicken and dumplings guys chicken and dumplings that's what we're going to be doing so guys you're just going to start out with one onion first so we're going to chop this onion up guys And it doesn't really matter how you guys chop it guys you guys can definitely do it like i would say coarsely chopped i mean you don't want big chunks of onion um but you don't have to dice it if you do not want to and then all of this is going to separate as it cooks um so yeah this is like coarsely chopped so if you want to break it down some more you can and call it a day okay guys so I have the crock pot on high you can put the crock pot on low if you want to however it's just double the cooking time for this and for today I'm gonna cooking it on, cooking it on high for three hours versus cooking it on low for six but this is a good recipe that you can um, you know cook on low and go to work come back and then it'll still be fine so I have a measuring cup and I am going to measure three cups of chicken broth that I'm going to put in the crock pot. So chicken broth. I'm going to add the onions. So the one onion that we chopped, I'm going to add that one onion. So this is way to cut corners guys. So I love garlic. <laughs> However, I don't have time to sit up here and chop up fresh garlic. So I will either buy, <laughs> sorry if you guys hear the boys. I will either buy garlic paste or I will go ahead um, and get this fresh minced garlic. Um, so it's definitely a way to cut corners versus cutting up garlic. And I also don't like the way garlic smells on my hands. Um, so just a, a quick quick little tip you guys for for my garlic lovers so you can it um, So for me, I always put about one to two tablespoons and I'm kind of heavy handed <laughs> with the garlic um, Just because I feel like it does bring a lot of flavor. So 
if you're not really a garlic person then definitely cut down on the garlic okay next thing guys is the chicken that i marinated earlier that i showed you guys so typically i would do a little bit more chicken than this but because we're in quarantine and i don't have um I'm, I'm trying to be cautious about how much meat we're eating i'm only putting one pound of chicken breast but you can definitely put two pounds um and this was seasoned of course you guys with the chicken seasoning onion powder garlic powder um what else uh black pepper let's see and i think that was it i can definitely look again to be sure i'm telling you guys so i'm just gonna place this chicken in this water so i like the chicken to marinate um you know for at least a couple hours before i add it to the crock pot because i wanted to get its own flavor next thing i'm going to do you guys is add some more seasonings to the water so i'm gonna add um some more of the chicken seasoning not to the water guys to the broth i'm sorry <laughs> so i'm just gonna add some more chicken seasoning to the broth i'm also gonna add more onion powder i'm not gonna add garlic powder just because i put all of that garlic already in it however if you are a big garlic eater um, then definitely go ahead and you know put some more also gonna add this just a few little I forgot I didn't take it off all the way when I did this earlier so I also put some of this on the chicken you guys when I was doing that and then I'm also going to add some Acid, or is it ascent? I don't know, guys. But this, <laughs> I didn't even know we had this. This is some like one thing. So me and Justin both have uh, um seasonings. So when we moved in together, it was like, okay, now we have double the seasonings, which is not a problem. But you know, we just have a lot. So I'm just gonna get those seasonings in there. Oh, it smells good already. And that's the thing. It's like I like to be able to smell my seasoning so that I know that it's soaking in. And I'm just going to rinse off the can, the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom. So you guys can definitely use two of the cream of chickens. You do not have to use the cream of mushrooms if you are not um, a mushroom eater. I love mushrooms. So I'm going to use a can of cream of mushroom and a, cream, a can of cream of chicken um, just because I want both of those flavors combined. And it does actually make a very, very, very good chicken and dumplings. And I'm just going to take a spoon to make sure we get it all out of there. Y'all, I miss, I miss my grandmother's um, chicken and dumplings. She made the best chicken and dumplings, guys. So now I'm gonna do the cream of mushroom. And you can definitely tell that it looks different. This one is more white, whereas the cream of chicken is more yellow. And that's just based on, you know, the stuff that's in it. And what you can also do is, is you could take a little broth Put it in the can to make sure you're getting it all out and swish it around to get all of that access out, guys. Cause you know, we don't believe in wasting. I'm gonna get my spoon and I'm just gonna mix all of this together. I just wanted to combine, I want the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom to be combined so i just want to mix it really good so guys that's one of the things that i really really like about this recipe i do feel that this is super quick and it's super easy to go from the crock pot to your dinner table sorry y'all that's the voice which is what exactly which is what i like to have um again i always like you know quick and easy meals that you do not have to worry about having a whole bunch of ingredients for a whole bunch of you know chopping and things like that again if you have time for that 
perfect but i'm speaking to you know my parents that don't really have time my friends they're just like you know what i'm working i don't have time to come home from work and then still you know do a full course meal this this meal is something that you guys would really really like it's a home style comfort food guys southern which is what we like um so i definitely think you guys will like this and then this is it in the crock pot you can't really see it but it's simmering so we're gonna go ahead and cook this for three hours after three hours then we will come back we will shred the chicken and then do the finishing touches y'all i told you guys we have snow out here so that's why i was saying you have to have this comfort food during these this type of weather that we have today y'all it's really chilly out here so the chicken and dumplings is gonna be amazing in our tummies and then I'm gonna show you guys the boys hey you see the snow you looking outside y'all see the snow oh my goodness you can't go play in the snow right now it's too cold you're gonna stay inside in the warm so as you guys can tell the boys actually just ate their lunch today Justin is actually watching the boys we kind of alternate days for who's gonna be the primary caregiver for the boys I know that sounds funny but when you have twins you'll understand or if you have more than one you understand it's not even if you have twins if you have more than one child you get what we're saying so um, as you can tell when daddy watches the boys he has no bib on them so they have food everywhere <laughs> They have food all on their outfits. <laughs> so Jalen's shirt says, "You gonna show them main squeeze?" Yeah, you, you wanna? Okay, mommy, I'll leave you alone. And then Jason's shirt says, "Mr. Wonderful." Yes, it does. Mr. Wonderful and Mr. Main Squeeze. You teething? Jalen, both of y'all are teething. Okay, daddy's gonna put you down so you can play. Who do we see right here? Who's trying to break it out? Uh-uh, don't put your mouth on that, it's dirty. <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> y'all, so. Our Amazon package arrived with their little balls. So you can choose between like 50 balls or 100 balls. Or I actually just got the 50 balls because I just didn't want like the thing just completely filled up. So yes, so they definitely love it. Jalen, what color do you have? What color do you have? You just want to chew on them? You have yellow and you have blue. Chase, you have green. So y'all, this is gonna keep them entertained. And I wanted to go ahead and show you guys with the show the this. I wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys because I know probably tomorrow when they're in here, they're not gonna care about the balls. You gonna say hey? What you think? What you think? What you think? Oh, you playing with your foot? Fun, fun. Okay, have fun. All right, y'all. So Justin is actually over there making or getting stuff together for the um, banana pineapple muffins that we're going to be making. But for what I'm doing right now, I'm going to show you guys the dumplings part. So. You know how I told y'all that this is like quick and easy. For this recipe, we're literally just using like the Kroger brand um, tin biscuits. So typically I would do like, you know, the bigger biscuits, but again, you guys were on quarantine. The grocery stores just do not have what everything that you need. So we have these biscuits and I'm gonna use two cans. I actually may end up using three, um, but I'll let you guys know. Um, just cause I haven't used these before and these are just a tad bit um, smaller. So these are actually 
this comes with 10 biscuits in it guys so it comes with 10 um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna roll these out flat i do not have a rolling pin if you have a rolling pin great if not do what your grandma used to do y'all get you a cup get you a cup <laughs> and literally just roll it out if you don't have a pizza cutter like i have no worries just use a knife you don't have to have like a whole bunch of different gadgets i'm literally going to just roll this out and you don't want it too thin um and i'm just going to set these little strips aside and I'm probably gonna actually end up using three cans, guys, just because these are smaller biscuits. But if you get like the Pillsbury biscuits um, that have like eight in a can, that's perfect. So here's the biscuit dough, guys. I'm gonna just take the lid off. And I am going to drop this biscuit dough in there. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mix it up, because this is gonna expand, this, this, these biscuits, they're going to expand in this broth and you know, cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. And so you could just dump the whole th thing in there, but I like to separate it out just to be sure that, you know, my pieces are not sticking together. And then this also helps me see if I need to open up that third can or not. I'm gonna take my spoon and you're just gonna gently, guys, gently um, move all of this around. I wanna cover the biscuit dough in this cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, and the, the broth. It's not even done, guys. And to me, it looks so good. So I'm gonna cover this and cook this for about another hour, maybe less, just because I still do have the crock pot on high and I don't want to overcook anything. And my crock pot definitely cooks very fast. So I think originally I told you guys that I was gonna cook this for three hours on the three hours. And actually I only cooked it for like two hours, maybe. I think it was two hours, guys. So just check your crock pot and see, you know, if you if it's if your chicken is cooked, then you can move on to the next step, which is your biscuits. Let's go see what daddy and the boys are doing, y'all. What are you doing? Y'all look at the boys. Oh my goodness, she's so you love your balls. Oh my goodness, look at you. I thought they would have fell asleep by now. Oh, y'all are gonna be asleep early tonight. And y'all, here goes daddy thinking he's uh Carmelo Anthony. Go ahead, five dollar shot right here. No, that's not I don't care. Y'all yeah, look at the boys. Five dollar shot. All right. You want money? You know, uh, okay, you owe me $5. Y'all, he owes me so much money. I'm done betting with Justin because he's a con artist. You know, Who's a con artist? You still owe me $22. Remember from when you did that? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to come over here. Come on, Daddy. 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 Come the chicken. Um, and those little dark pieces that you see is just from the cream and mushroom. It smells so good, guys. So then I'm just going to take the spoon so that you guys can see how it is. The chicken is actually done and the onions have cooked down. And guys, I also should let you know that if you are not an onion eater, you do not have to use the whole onion. Y'all, and now it is finished. 
you can see how creamy it is guys you can see the chicken chunks and the biscuit dough that serves as the dumplings so guys this is done I'm going to let it sit let the flavors really you know mesh together but dinner is served guys I'm very pleased how this turned out and again I used the biscuit dough to make the dumplings y'all it's so funny because Justin's watching the boys and I'm like literally hiding out in the bedroom like <laughs> I know some of my parents out there feel the same way when sometimes you just kind of have to step away. So I'm in the bedroom. The boys are out there in the living room with Justin. Justin and the boys are going to have their day. And mama is going to stay in the room and relax, guys. I'm telling you. I love being a parent. I wouldn't take anything away from that. But sometimes you definitely have to just kind of take some time for yourself. So, and I think with this quarantine for us all, it's hard, you know. So, my parents out there, I understand. I know we're all going through the struggle. For mine, it's a little bit different because they're, they're small. I know for my, you know, parents that have, you know, kids that are school age, we're, we feel for y'all. We feel for y'all. Cause you know, I know they're restless. They don't really know what to do. Like our boys, they're still little. So they kind of, well, they do entertain each other. Our big thing is just making sure that they're not fighting. They wrestle. So our big thing is just making sure that they do not harm each other throughout the eight hour day when we're working. So we feel for you guys. Believe me, we all do. We're all, we're all going through it, you know? And that's the thing, it's like everybody's going through it. And what I, I'm happy to see though, is that the celebrities are taking it serious. Cause I think if the celebrities were not taking it serious, then you would have a whole bunch of like children, adults. I mean, everybody not taking it serious. And the fact that they are, is a good thing because you know, at the end of the day, they're, they're influencers, you know, they influence people to in people's decisions. Um, so I think it's a great thing that they're staying in because it's making other people stay in, which is a good thing because, you know, a lot of stuff is delayed for everybody. And I'm not going to sit up here and complain because, you know, we are so blessed. Like when I think about um, where Justin and myself both are in our lives, um, we are blessed. We are truthfully blessed. Um, so I'm not going to complain about being in the house. I mean, I'm tired of being in the house because I'm, I'm a people person. I, I feed off people's energy. I enjoy being around people at all my jobs. I have been known as the chatty Kathy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a person. I just enjoy talking. I enjoy just communication. That's something I really, really enjoy. So for me, it's very difficult for Justin. It's a little bit easier just because he's um, a lot more introverted. He's, um, well, I won't even say that because Justin talks a lot. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna catch him one day playing the game with his friends so that you guys can see how much he talks. Like, y'all, he's a different person when he's playing the game. Y'all. He's yelling and everything. Okay, there's two things where Justin is completely different from probably what you guys have seen so far on the camera. And that is playing the game and watching sports. Specifically, watching Alabama football or any of the NBA teams. Like, it's a different person. He's a whole different person. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, yeah. So, I just want, I just want to end this video and just want to tell people, you know, to be safe out there you know practice your social distancing we're all sorry guys we're all going through this at the same time so we are all in this together as always happy fam thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for just supporting our channel obviously you know you know for us this is a way for us to have these memories and to always look back at them um but the fact that so many people are excited to be in on these memories does mean a lot to us so thank you guys for subscribing give this video a thumbs up share this video leave a comment if you guys like this video i know i have a few people that watch the video that don't have youtube accounts so they just watch the video <clears throat> tracy <clears throat> 
So guys, make sure to create a YouTube account so that you guys can, you know, get the notification bell for every time that we um, have a video that posts. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate it. And until next time.